Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Season 2, Episode 12 of Lucifer, entitled Love Handles. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. The links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Jerry will do his best work behind the scenes in just a few seconds. The last episode ended with a smooch. Chloe and Lucifer got close and locked lips. <laughs> Ooh la la. I still feel like I had a whole rant at the end of that. It came a little quick, came a little quickly, but neither here nor there. I, I don't, I don't mind either way. It just, uh, I was kind of shocked. Came out of nowhere and it was really nice. Yeah. I don't have much else to say about the last episode. We're going to get right into this one. We already said the intro. I'm not going to waste any time. Jerry, get to work. I want to see how this plays out because. Oh shit. Oh shit. I just realized this was the scene. I didn't know what this was when I first pressed pause. Look at them. Oh my word. It it almost feels too good to be true. Her hands are on his scar. Let's see if I'm a love handles. Roll credit. I thought I didn't have horns. Oh, that was a myth. was it what are you doing in ah. here what i heard you scream so i ran in to see if you were in danger then i figured out what was really going on oh so i stayed to watch a show hey did you just have <gasps> did she have a wet dream was that kiss and everything fake at the end or did they just smooch and that was the end of it and then she dreamt all that coming back up to her thing i was gonna say because the horn thing was fake Damn, but she accepted it, huh? She started grabbing that and fucking bumping it. Ooh, Chloe, you dirty dog. What was that? That thing you were doing, you were like... Okay, Maze, get out. Now. Well, I know what a big deal the kiss was for the detective. And for you. For her? And well, for sure you. Made quite an impact on her. I mean, if it is me, no doubt she's overwhelmed by emotions she's never felt before. She's overwhelmed. Hmm. Uh-huh. Is that why you went your separate ways after the kiss? Precisely. Yes, although she did have that wretched dependent waiting for her at home. Or two, if you count the child. <laughs> I think I know what's happening. Be nice to Maze. You, you do? You're stalling, Lucifer. Mm -hmm. Stalling? Stalling. <laughs> Sex, me. <laughs> Doctor, have we even met before? You're stalling Lucy, you're because nervous. you've realized how complicated your relationship is. Maybe that's what's changed. No. Of course. I mean, why else would she kiss me? No. There's also the possibility. No, no, no. That... No. No. That's very good. Thank you, Doctor. You can't keep taking one... Do now. You can't keep taking one thing she says and running with that shit. Well, it's about us. Okay. What you gonna say? Ooh, she's all happy and giddy and shit. Don't. You're gonna ruin it. Oh, God. What is it you truly desire now? What the hell are you doing? Yeah. You know that stuff doesn't work. It right? doesn't. Yeah, come on. Right. Yes, no, of course, I was uh, joking. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> LOL. Right. <laughs> I was just trying to, Mae said this morning, you know, throw caution to <laughs> yes, fuck. Never mind. Boop. That was weird. Yeah, it was really yeah. weird. You just smacked him on the ass and scooped his cheek up a little bit. I think he, I think he liked it. Look at him. Ooh. Like poison poisoning. Hi, yeah. Ella. I missed you in last episode, by the way. Yeah, of how long it took the poison to activate? Well, it took so you mean to tell me either well, two things. One, that kiss for Chloe did the thing, but or with May telling her to be impulsive and let it go, has she been keeping in all of her laughs this whole time to actually remain serious? Like he says something funny, and on the inside she's just like, Kuh -kuh -kuh -kuh. and on the outside she's just focus, because that's good. That's good shit right there, or. Is it fake laughs? Don't ever fake laugh at anything. That shit, that's hurtful. That's more hurtful than, oh. Hard to see for sure. The worst. Best guess, maybe 24 hours. Right, poor Ricky made him count, enjoying what little life he had left with sex or friends. Or sex with friends. Ooh. Ooh la la. I just figured that's where you were going with that. No, I mean, I don't know how down he was to party, but 
Remember how we saw a whole episode of Lucifer trying to be like Dan? Are we getting Chloe trying to be like Lucifer? Jesus. Is he dead? Is he dead? Freeze. Drop the knife. It's my fault. Drop the He's knife, Johnny Cage. Knife, Johnny. Just listen to her, Johnny. She's quite a good shot. Yeah. I don't understand. I couldn't do what the man said. What man? The man said he would kill that kid if I didn't cut my face. Mr. Johnny Kane. Oh my good amazing. lord. Speaking of Malibu, I didn't realize after the fact, skimming through Lucifer to get a screenshot, the last episode, to get a screenshot for the thumbnail. Skimming through, skimming through. I'm like, ah, I don't want this. I don't want this. I think I want this big moment. I don't know. I was going to pick one of the people that disappeared for a second or the creepy little stalker girl. And I was like, I, I found a perfect one. But I kept looking at one of the dudes. The guy playing Andy Kleinberg or whatever. That was Jamie Kennedy. From Malibu's Most Wanted. B-Rad. Shooketh. <laughs> is that the freaking musket? Shooketh. That movie is top tier. Anyways, Jamie Kennedy. That was good to see him. That obviously wasn't a line from him, but... Oh, man. What do you say he had? Gamecast? <laughs> GameCube and Dreamcast. A little buddy tried to tell him he had a fucking game. He's like, oh, man, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> oh, man. It's so good. That movie's so good. Traffic, traffic. Looking for my chapstick. Who we got? Detective Decker, Lux, Maze. I don't know why I thought I saw Trixie's name on here. So that is his phone. Look at this. Mum. My dear mum. A lot of calls to Decker. Maze. Talked to Maze yesterday for four minutes. To talk to Detective Decker for 21 minutes on the phone. Ooh la la. I don't like that this 11.15 a.m. call is technically listed before the 10.15 a.m. call today. Doesn't make any sense in my brain. So he called, or no, Lux called him. For six minutes. He called his mom yesterday. Lux called him. He called Decker for 21 minutes at 9.32 p.m. Is that post-kiss? I assume that they called and chat for a minute. And then at 10.19, not too long after you got off the phone. All right. Okay, buddy. Detective. Counselor. Douche. Dick. <laughs> well, I suppose that's my cue. Remember what I said, Lucifer. The douche and the dick. Ducifer. Bye bye, Daniel. Have you been one to avoid sex? Semi, I don't think that was a climax, bro. Oh. Well, never mind. LAPD, show us what's in your hands. No, raise oh, your hands above your head where we can see him. Well, it might be a gun. Oh, right? that's not a gun. That's why it'll be so interesting to see what decision you make for this experiment. You can either. I was going to say, what if Johnny Kane was also playing this guy and he was using that whole thing about himself as a cover-up for that kid, but it doesn't make too much sense, but this guy does look a little older right here with his mask on. Your hand. So Kane or playing a guy, playing a doctor, blah, 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 you know? I dedicated my life to saving people. Taking an oath to do no harm. How, how am I supposed to make that choice? You don't have to. They've drawn blood from the first victim and they're already working on an antidote. That's great if they find the girl. But what if they can't? Well, I'm rocking her on that. Her. What if we can't find her, huh? I promise you. Come on, douche. Some of our best people are on it. saying is, this man's up here just... Real. It's real. He's up here smoking a whole fucking... Oh, my goodness. stronger together than you are apart. Right. Right, but... My guy's up here smoking a spliff, absolutely just talking about his whole feelings right now with some sorority girls, living his best life. What does that actually mean? David Lucifer, I was so stupid to think I could actually take a leap and trust you for once. I mean, a woman's life is on the line, and here you are doing... Wait, what are you doing? Well, I was actually working, Detective. Oh, my God. Yeah. Is this her? 
It is. She's so pretty. Thank you. Oh. Well, I, I mean, I was working and maybe sort of, you know, asking about you. About me? Well, we had some time to kill whilst we were waiting for Ashley, because apparently she's in that bathroom. Don't know what's taking us so long. She's probably fucking dead, Ashley Lucifer, bro. LAPD. Ashley. It just won't stop. All right, well, we're, held, we're here to help you. We got this. She kind of looked like, um, ooh, I almost just said her name. Oh, shit. Anna Kendrick. A little bit. A smidge, just from that, that mirror angle. There's a bear just taking a little couple tokes, bro. Hey, listen, this is a girl I've been macking on, and I don't know if he's going the way I want it to be going. And they're like, oh, my God, like, you know, you're just two halves at the same hole. You just have to trust yourself. Is this her? I love him. Uh, they're so cute together oh, remember what i said a while back that i think everybody at some point in the show should come through dr linda's come to her therapy sessions i'm loving it like mcdonald's some up afraid i'm too smart for that so what you're saying is i need to find someone he'll trust that's foolish enough to help me deliver the news that's the exact opposite of what i'm suggesting thank you doctor I know just the person. They just, they ha people have a conversation with her. Now I see the resemblance. Mm -hmm. And they take a fucking bread crumb you drop and they're like, ah, this is the way to do it. Even though they're completely wrong. You're a wild ass human. Looking designer poison here. Engineered from controlled substances. Each one just a little bit different. So how do we get an antidote? Well, that right there is a tricky part. Designer poisons need designer, designer antidotes. antidotes. Yep, yep. This guy, our killer, is really good. He's I mean, smooth. Bad. But, but good. Really good. Oh my god. I know. What you just figure tough, out, Dan? But what you got, Bubba? Buddy. No. Look, look, remember I was talking about him? Hold on. Bro, look at that. So crazy. That's so wild that Jamie Kennedy could look that different. That I mean, that is. I don't think that's him, but holy sh like that's good makeup if they use the same person. That's oh, good for him. Birthmark. Good for him. Your dead guy from Chicago is Andy Kleinberg, the rich guy that we looked into for the murder of that stewardess. Yep, 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 yep. For uh, a special package that was smuggled into the country. Okay. We never ah, so we're dealing with that shit. We're, okay, so it's, that's good. A continuation. I do like that. The guy with the fucking hat, like Heisenberg. All right, I'm rocking with you. It had to be the poison. Kleinberg must have been the one who stole it. Sending him an email. <laughs> what? You pathetic, sad sack. No wonder you didn't get tenure. Your experiments are as ugly as you are. Well said, detective. Oh my goodness, Seriously? good, good jabs, Insulting good insults. Serial killer. That's an awesome no, idea. roast his Thank ass. You. Also, give him the ten. A bit lame. Could be much creepier. Put that in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's what I know. He read most of it. Uh, the choice is yours. To D Man sixty nine, dear sicko. Who the hell do you think you are? You pathetic sad sack. No wonder you didn't get your tenure. Your attempt to outsmart us are as sad as your experiments are, as ugly as you are. Oh, and your experiments are ugly as you are. I'm annoyed that I even have to waste my time on a worthless excuse such as yourself. But I'll be done soon enough. Oh, and your mask is lame. Chloe, don't Could have been this. creepier. All right, it's not you. This is, this is, it's a rash move. She wants to, she wanted to be impulsive. And sent sincerely, Detective Decker. That's great. <gasps> Another email's about to pop up. Bloop, bloop. Hello, Detective. You responded. Leg within 60 minutes. Benji here gets this. This motherfucker thinks she's Jigsaw from the Saw movies. Was that his name, Jigsaw? Anyways. What an idiot. I don't like this guy. You guessed it. The antidote. For your sake, don't waste your time trying to make another. They're all unique, and the only place a formula lives is right here, in my head. What's in your head? Oh, well, it's the antidotes, but for a sad sack who couldn't get tenure, huh? Professor Wayne. I mean, her what she said still stands. They're officially poked. To be fair, it's not like he got that email and went and got those people, tied them up and did, did that. He was going to do it regardless, so. 
Good talk. Glad we got the chat. Yeah, he kind of made them all. You know, no. Oh, wow. He's, he's, he's just, here. He's just dropping. Put her in this first path. She's a miracle. <laughs> She's just dropping that fucking bomb on her, just like that up in the motherfucking dive bar. Granny Panties Decker, a miracle? Please. Lucifer's gonna be like, Chloe, you need to leave right now. You gotta go. I can do this. Bing, bam, bop. Let me get, let me take care of it. You have to leave. Please, goodbye. But the door's locked. Did he not unlock the door? You have to go. Trust me. Trust me. Please. Yes. yes. And go. Go get go. the fuck away from me. Go, goodbye. So long, my friend. You not still have your gun? Fucking freeze. Point. Bro, everybody lets everybody just run away. Like, topple them. Put your foot out. Trip somebody. You don't have to get directly involved. You could trip a motherfucker as they're running past you, though. We gotta get the vicinity of how far away Chloe has to be. Damn, punched her right in the fucking ovary. There you go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Use your big strong man. There you go, you big strong bastard. Lovely. Grab the antidote, bro. You'll understand soon enough. He's about to stab the shit out of himself, huh? He slit his own throat, bro. Of all the things you could fucking do, that's what you pick. I just feel like if I'm Chloe, that like I, I'm shoot his hand. The way they walked up. To, aw. So glad you're okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Embrace that hug. Good job, guys. Good team after all, don't we? Yeah, you guys make a great team. Now have sex on camera. This is real, isn't it? Forehead, no for. Ooh la la. <laughs> oh no, he just had that. This is real, isn't it? Moment, and but it's not Chloe's. It's not Chloe's fault, bro. Oh. Is that it? He's just standing like a goof nut too. Shout out Maze. Actually, get up. Nah, we ain't doing this. Nope. She just saw how fucking happy he was and immediately realized to get him out of the situation with the news that his mom's about to drop on him. Maze, I love you. Or are you trying to get back at your ex? Oh, he's gonna fucking figure it out himself, isn't he? What's Amenadiel doing with Chloe's mom? Oh, I could fucking, I could puke. None of it was. No, it was real. No, it was real. None of it was real. Oh no, she's been poisoned. She's been poisoned. How, when, and where? How, when, and where did she get the poison, dude? Well, I'm trying to think of anything that could have happened that could have led to it. Oh, no, I thought she was standing there crying or something. Because like, there's no way she could know. That is such a... Uh, that's a really good episode. Oh, man, that's heartbreaking for him because he felt invincible in that moment. Like, imagine that. Like, Okay, it's not as cut and dry as he sees it in his head, but you fall in love with somebody and you come to find out it was fake or it was set up or somebody... Like, uh, it kind of reminds me of not another teen movie or anything where it's like somebody falls in love with somebody and then they figure out like it was a bet or it was a joke. Like, ah, I knew I could kiss you or sleep with you, blah, blah, blah. But like, it turns out like, Hey, you know, all that other shit, you know, th that stereotypical shit they used to do back in the day. Now with, with this though. Okay. Let, let's think about it because Chloe, it's Chloe has free will 
I'm assuming. This is just my thought process. I assume Chloe has free will. She has control over her own actions. She is not some fucking puppet that the big G.O.D. is controlling. Amenadiel blessed her. And maybe it is some overarching plot scheme by his father. Maybe it is an overall plot by God, but I think that Chloe was put there. They're partners, yada, yada. It's it's her own free will. Everything was real. Like The emotion she's feeling is real. The way he feels about her is real. Even if that is put in his path, I feel like there has to be some free will to it that is not cut and dry as this is just one big fuck you, basically, to him. But it is heartbreaking to watch him get that news and piece it together on his own. I'm, I'm not upset with Charlotte for wanting to tell him, but I, I do appreciate Maze being like, hey, this isn't, no, we're not doing this. I do appreciate that. Chloe being poisoned, we'll have to figure out how that happened. Oh, boy slit his throat. Maybe it had something in his blood. Maybe she got too close. Maybe it was something, regardless, that's affecting her. Uh, man, it was a good case. It was like a mini episode of Saul. It was a good case they played out. It was a good teamwork from everybody involved. I'm glad that she acted impulsively. She took Maze's advice. She did poke the bear. She's slapping ass and stuff. And uh, we'll see how Lucifer saves her in the next episode or how much longer that bleeds over. And that was just, um, mm, it was sad to see. But, I mean, their relationship blossoming right there and her being like, I'm so glad you're okay and just hugging him and being there with him, that, that embrace right there. That was a very sensual embrace. Her saying, I'm glad you're okay. And then her dream she had, too, the, the love handles. Ooh la la. So season two, episode 12 is entitled Love Handles. Uh, a college student's death leads Lucifer and Chloe down a poisonous path. Meanwhile, the pair tries to deal with their evolving relationship. Hip hip. Season two, episode 13, a.k.a. Lucky number 13, is a good day to die. I don't like that title after watching her fucking, you know. I'll see you there. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.